we're going to make keys to a global RV lock. Now, if you see on when we open up the door here, you can see on the inside, they actually have a sticker on the outside. So the code on this lock is G360. On some other RV locks, you would find the code maybe on the face of the plug. So where you put the key in, there'll be a code stamped in there. And a lot of times, if you take the lock apart, the code will be stamped on the inside of the lock or even written in on the inside. Uh, this is right from the factory. It's a new lock. It's a replacement lock, so they put the code on the outside. But also, if we take the lock off the door, we'll see the code on the inside. Codes online is by subscription only, so you have to pay. It's not expensive. It's a pretty good price. So go to the codes online website, which is lockcodes.com. And what we're going to do is we're going to click on codes online, and then we're going to sign in. And then once we get in into this next screen, I'm going to pick inches. Uh, now we have ITL code machines. We have a few other stuff, but uh, I know uh, my Framen is, is how I'm going to cut this key on a Framen code machine. So I'm going to uh, select inches. I'm going to take my code, which is G360, plug it into there where it says enter code. And then I'm going to hit enter. And I, my screen is going to come up with a whole pile of uh, codes that could match that. Now, I know in this case, it's a global lock. So if we go down to the G's where we have a global link, I'm going to click that on. If, you, if it's something else, you, sometimes you can check some of the other ones and by deduction, you can uh, narrow it down. And I know it's a double-sided key, so I could, uh, there's different ways of getting this. However, on this one, I know it's a global. So I click on the global. It brings up the actual code. So this is good. You can see the code on this is 12331. It gives me my different key blanks. It's a 1681 ILCO. It depends what keys you use. You have to cross-reference it. And what's even more important, which is really, really good, is right there it has the spacings from the shoulder uh, and also the depths of each cut. So this will be really easy to cut on the Framen. Now, if you, uh, I have other videos where you can see how I use the Framen code machine. Uh, it's a Framen number two. Phenomenal machine. Absolutely phenomenal. It's our go-to machine when we have oddball codes that we can't cut on our other code machines. Uh, the, the Framen never lets us down. Even worst case, if it's some real oddball, we can cut it. You can see the cuts. One, two, three, three, one. You can see the key and very easy to make a key. So in this case, we just cut the key by code. Uh, happy customer. We can make a key. Uh, and charge them accordingly. So it's a global travel trailer lock. This is the lock position. This is how I came to it and I picked it. But you can see here, oh, the deadbolt's not out on this. Code's on the inside, that's there. If I put the key in, this will put the bolt out. So there's the bolt out. Oh, but it can still be in that position. Or can I take the key out in the bottom position? No, I can't. So the key will come out locked or unlocked. From the top, the handle's locked. Put the key in, and the handle will unlock the door. So on this one, the deadbolt was locked. We don't know why. So interesting. So global lock, pretty simple. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Subscribe to my channel. Also, visit my website and you can see what online locksmith training I have for beginners, intermediate, and advanced, as well as my covert methods of entry and my non-destructive methods of entry.